Um, basically, the reason that we're doing this is because um, my daughter Kirby has gone to school today and they've complained about her hair colour saying it's inappropriate for the school. Whereas Chelsea, my other daughter, had her hair done four weeks ago and they've not mentioned once about her hair other than to say it looked nice. Basically, they go to King's School in Winchester and the school has said, unless we um, sort her hair out and get it back to how it was before, she will be in inclusion until such time as her hair is put back. Well, the teacher, he said that it would be shadowing him around to all of his lessons. Um, but also inclusion can also mean that she's put into a room with children that have got into trouble for some reason and they have to spend the day there but she'll have to spend every day there until her hair's put back. <laughs> well, I'm not very happy. I don't see why it's sort of like double standards. They haven't mentioned anything about the fact that Chelsea's hair's been dyed and she was very blonde to now her hair being dyed and she was sort of like a mousy brown colour anyway. I just think it's wrong that it seems like double standards. I'm leaving it. I don't see why I should change it back. I mean, how am I going to change? What, what do I do to change it back? I'm not a hairdresser. And I don't see why I should have to pay more money to get it put back to how it was when it looked a mess before. Well, they say no, they don't like radical hair, like, which I wouldn't say necessarily a single colour hair is a radical hair. I would say if they, yeah, fine, if it was this colour with bright blonde streaks through it or pink streaks, then yeah, that would be a problem. But it's just one colour <laughs> and I just don't see why it should be an issue.